Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to publish in MATLAB. To explain this, I have opened a function file with name bisect. This is the function file I have created. And this is the function file I will call to solve a nonlinear equation using bisection method. And also to publish a nice PDF, I have opened one sample question sheet in which I have some questions which I need to solve using bisection method MATLAB function. Okay, so let's get started. So in my current directory, I only have bisect.m file, which is a function file, and I have I will create a new script file, which I will publish. So if you create a new script file and you go from these tabs, you go to this publish tab. Okay, you see this publish tab. And the first thing I'm going to do is I will uh, make the title of this PDF, the thing that will be at the very start and the top of the PDF. So I will start with section with title here. And now here m the title of my section will come. So I will say, let's say lab core questions because this is the title of my uh, main question maybe so in the descriptive text here uh, I will maybe write this script is created by me so th this thing will be uh, the main title which will be in bigger size and bold letters while this will be a normal text in my PDF. Okay, right after this, I will uh, do a section break. Okay, so section break is necessary if you create a new section or new headings. So I'm also saving this with name, let's say lab, lab.m. So I've saved this file. Now in here, uh, I can create multiple sections. For example, the first section uh, in the first section, for example, I want to uh, give overview of this PDF to the user. Okay, so this, this overview, because it is double percentage and it has a section break, uh, this, this line denotes that the section is break. So overview will come as heading. Whatever I write in a percentage symbol below here, will matlab will read it as a text okay so let me pause this video and write some nice words okay so i wrote some sentences uh, in my overview section uh, which will explain what i'm going to do in my pdf so you can be explaining whatever uh, you are going to do in your pdf okay so uh, here is an important thing after you do the section percentage and then uh, whatever you want to write in your PDF, you do it using a single percentage sign, but do not put a blank space between it. So if I put a blank space here and then after that, I use a percentage sign and I write something, MATLAB will read it as a, a comment in my code. I hope you are getting my point. So this percentage MATLAB will not read it as a text because I created a space between here. So MATLAB will think that uh, here I wrote some code and this is a kind of a comment in my code. Let me show you how it will look like. So first let me do it like this. Uh, to publish this PDF, you will cl click on this small arrow first and then you go to edit publishing options. And for the first time you have to select here uh, from the number of option to PDF if you want to publish in PDF. So you can also also publish to some other formats. Here are some other for HTML, doc file, PPT. So I will use PDF and then I will mention where I'm going, where this PDF is going to go. So it will go in the same folder with, with a folder name HTML. So let me publish this. So I clicked on publish so you can see this is my title and this is the explanation 
the descriptive text that I wrote and then overview section and this is the text uh, the sentences that I wrote in my overview now if I create a space and then I'm using a percentage sign so MATLAB will read it as a percentage and say like it is a comment in my code so let me do this yeah so you see the MATLAB is reading it as a percentage so let's move forward So let's say I want to put another section break. So I will click uh, here section break, not section with title. It will create another section with title. So I will put section break. And now here, let's say I am solving question one, all parts. So let's say here I am writing a question one and maybe the statement of question one here. Okay. So I have copied this statement uh, of the question number one, run the bisection method code. So here I can see there is a text with 10 raised power minus 8. So in MATLAB we can also use in publish tab uh, the latex text like the uh, mathematic equations or if you want to write something uh, in mathematics symbols. So I will write click on this inline latex. I just click on this inline latex and this will create a, uh, a dollar sign and we can also straightforward write dollar sign and inside them I will write 10 raised to the power minus 8 so MATLAB will read it as a latex language or it will be a mathematical equation format so if I publish this So I will see now my another section question one with uh, this is the description of it. Now after this I will create another section break and here I will sol solve part A. Uh, so the heading is part A wherein the description I will write maybe uh, the what what was given in the part A like the function uh, the equation with the interval and then after this I will solve it so you can see that uh, after the part A heading I have write uh, some description where this is the latex format so I wrote the equation in dollar sign uh, in, in the interval 1 2 so after that I wrote that here is my solution to part A where you can see the root uh, XA and the number of iteration so after this I'm going to write my code okay so till now I only wrote some sentences in my PDF or published file now after this I'm going to write a code so there will be no percentage symbols anymore uh, and let's do this so to solve a equation using bisection method let me see what bisection method function file looks like so the bisection method function file has two outputs with the name bisect and two input parameter uh, sorry four input parameter your left side of interval right side of interval your function file and your tolerance and I have a sample uh, here to test this function file so I am going to copy this sample here and this will not be in percentage because I want to run this in MATLAB so let's say here I will define my function a and then uh, as an output I will get x a in the uh, uh, as a root and iters a maybe as iteration it took to solve this and here I will write left and right side of interval so in this case, question it is 1 and 2 and the function my function here is f a and tolerance in 10 raised power minus 8 that was given in the question now here I have to write my function uh, whatever my function was given in the PDF so my function here is x4 minus 4x square plus x plus 1 so my function a here is x4 I have written this function and then uh, if I run this code let's see what will happen so I go to my editor tab and then I will run this code so you can see in the command window x is the root of this function 
where the iteration it took was 27. So if you want to see it to more number of decimal places, so you can use for the first time format long command. Okay. So now if you run this code, so you can see what will happen. Okay, so next thing I did is I plotted this given function. Okay, so to plot this function by using the plot command instead of fplot command, uh, you also need to use this dot raise to the power and dot raise to the power. Uh, whenever the x, the variable is multiplying with the variable, you need to use the dot pointwise multiplication or pointwise power. The reason behind this is if I want to evaluate my function on some x value, so I'm going to give this x vector to this uh, f of a. So if I don't use these dots, so it, it will give me errors. Okay. Okay. So to uh, plot this function, I opened a figure, which is figure one. And then I used a uh, minus three to three line space on my x axis which is divided into 100 points so there will be 100 data points from minus 3 to 3 on which uh, function f of f a will be evaluated so i evaluated f a at these x1 and stored in y1 and then i plotted this and uh, by using dashes in blue color and the line width will be 2 and then i open the grid uh, to make it more nicer and label the x axis and y axis and the important thing to plot the x and y axis, uh, I use the x line and y line command. Okay, so let's run this to see what will happen. Okay, if I run this, so you can see the function and you see from uh, between 1 and 2, there is function, uh, the function is cutting the x axis. Okay, and that is actually the root which is... Uh, which we found using the bisection method in 27 iteration up to the tolerance of 10 raised power minus 8. Okay, there was another root of the function between minus 1 to 0. If we use the root bracketing minus 1 to 0 as uh, uh, initially uh, by uh, if we, uh, initially while running the bisection method code, so we will find this root between minus 1 and 0. Okay, so let's see how it will look uh, in publishing. So if I go to the publish tab, I will, just, I will just click publish button because I have already uh, edited the publish option once. So it will uh, always publish to PDF. Okay. So let me click the publish button. It will run the code and then I will see a nicer PDF. Okay. So you can see in the part A, this is what I'm solving. Uh, this is my what I have written in my script file. And this is what I displayed in the command window. So whatever I displayed, I not whatever I did not semicolon. So if you see from here, uh, line 20, I did not semicolon it. So it appeared in the command window. So it will appear in the publishing PDF. And then after that, it will also uh, show me the plot uh, that I plotted uh, from line 22 to line 31 okay there is important note here like sometimes uh, when we click the publish the uh, it, it it does not publish into pdf the reason behind this sometimes is you have to close the previous pdf so i don't know the exact reason behind this but maybe it depends on uh, different pdf viewers so uh, uh, it is a good idea to close the previous PDF while publishing the new one. Okay. So if I move forward and I solve the next question, so I will not uh, solve during this video, but I will uh, type this and I'm going to pause this video here. Okay. So if you see, I have uh, uh, edited f this script for the other part. So for the part, I created another section break first and then if I use this two percentage sign it will automatically create the section break or otherwise I just click at this section break button and then I wrote the description of this question I defined the function for this uh, different question part B which was given in this uh, PDF file 
and then I solved it using bisection method code and then I plotted this in another figure I uh, did figure 2 for this and then x2 and y2 for variables of this figure a plot and then use the plot command and did the similar things it was just the copy paste of the above version just modified it for this new function and then for the part C I did the same first I created the section break and then for the part B the same thing uh, after doing the section break this 2 percentage sign will do the section break so now if I publish this to PDF so you will see a new PDF uh, which has part B section then part C section and then part D section so there was reason uh, I was seeing duplicate figures in the my previous publish so it is a good idea to use uh, these two commands whenever you are writing the script at the very start you uh, you use these two commands clear all and close all clear all will clear your workspace while close all will close all the open figures so now the last thing here is I want to also uh, print my function file in the same PDF okay so we can include the other uh, function files in uh, in my, in our publish PDF or published uh, document by using the include command okay to do that we first need to do the section break uh, the section break I can you do using the double percentage or I can click here section break which will create a new section so in this section I will only copy paste one command in a percentage symbol which is this include in these brackets and then the name of that function file and that should be in the same directory where you are running this code and that is all already there because that's why we were actually calling this function to solve all the questions and then you will use this forward slash include and let's see what it will do okay so if I click the publish button you will see at the very end of my code there is this function file so it was a good idea to also give the heading to this section so our instructor or whoever reading this should know uh, what is uh, here in under this section so I'm closing this tab again and then here I will name this section as function used okay so for the last time I'm going to click the publish button and you will see this is the heading and under this heading this is my function okay so this was the basic overview of publishing in MATLAB now there are some other options that you can also explore so inside the publish set tab you can see you can also use this hyperlink command if you want to uh, give some uh, URL online URL uh, link uh, here in your published uh, PDF so you can use this hyperlink command and you can also make the text bold italic or monospaced if you want you can also create a bullet list or the numbers list so I'm just going to give you a quick overview maybe for all these so I created another section where I am going to create maybe a bullet list so let's say I say I'm saying there are following questions in PDF after this I will click on this number list maybe and when we will click on this number list you have to use this hash button for every item so let's say this is item 1 or maybe 
part A, part B, and then part So remember, do not break these percentage signs if you want to print some text. Okay, this percentage sign should not be broken in inside this section if you want to print the text as it is. Okay, so after this, maybe if I want to uh, create a hyperlink, so I will say, uh, for example, this this is a sample hyperlink. So this this will go to the www.mathworks.com and this will be the thing that will be printed in your PDF on which you will click to go to this link. So this you can name whatever you want. Okay. And the other things, I guess these are enough. So to make the bold to text bold, uh, you only uh, need to use the sterics uh, to write to need the uh, you need to write the text inside the sterics if you want to make it bold and if you want to make it italic you need to write it between underscores okay so let's publish it to see what will happen so at the end you will see that these are the numbered bullet list and then uh, this math works is actually hyperlink if I, if I click this I will actually go to this website which I wrote there and then the other things uh, are this bold text is actually bold uh, I didn't write anything this was the by default written inside the sterics so it is bold this was inside the underscore this is italic now the other thing is uh, the MATLAB also create a table of contents at the very top for all the sections that were uh, printed here. But here my MATLAB is not doing this. Sometimes uh, it may happen to you also. So uh, the reason behind this, I don't know the exact reason, but if you sometimes restart MATLAB, so it will, it will create the table of contents. So let me quickly check if it is going to do it or not. So I just restarted the MATLAB and then I clicked the published button and here you see now it is also printing table of contents. Uh, table of content, uh, contents actually contain uh, all the sections that you created inside your script file. So overview and then question one was the section and then part A, part B, part C and then at the end function use and then at the very end I did something just to explain you guys. So that was all about publishing in MATLAB. So I only use the PDF format, which is the uh, most common format used while you submit the documents. So it is a good way to create a very nice document use in, in, within MATLAB, which contain uh, the explanation of your code along with the code actually. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching.